Hello and welcome to this Rain Runners video where I will be talking about what makes a proper runner. Hi, I'm Toby. Now you've probably heard some people talk about people normally faster than them who they consider to be a proper runner. But what makes a proper runner? Let's say we're talking about someone's 5k park run time. How fast do you have to be to be a proper runner? Is 25 minutes fast enough? Or perhaps even 20? Or even faster than that? Well the park run website actually lists the runners for each event that are under 17 minutes for male and 20 minutes for female. So maybe these are the times that qualify to be a proper runner. Some of you might have been to the Let's Run forum on the internet, which is largely inhabited by Americans. And on that forum, if someone considers someone else not to be a proper runner, they'll refer to them as a hobby jogger. And I saw someone on that forum put that their 10k time was about 32 minutes, a time that most of us can only dream of. And they were still referred to by someone as a hobby jogger. So what do I think? Where would I draw the line as to what is a proper runner? Well, first of all, unless you're competing at the Olympic level, there are always going to be people who are enough faster than you that they could accuse you of being a hobby jogger if they were mean enough. So a 30 minute 10K runner that accuses a 32 minute 10K runner of being a hobby jogger could be accused by a 28 minute 10K runner of being a hobby jogger themselves. And the point is there is no objective standard to being a proper runner. Everyone is on their own personal running journey. And if you run as an activity, then you are a runner, a proper runner. That's not to say that people shouldn't have ambitions to improve their running, but that would make you a faster runner, not a proper runner, because you already are a proper runner.